And what is really interesting is my people have got to the bottom of it. And I wanted to share. It has even hit the international press. And some of the things that have been written about me are definitely not true. Let me explain. There is an article going around the world saying that TikTok bans comedy character President Obonjo. That title is false and it is Western propaganda. Why the Western press will call me a comedy character, I really do not know. The article reads that I was banned from podcasting live on TikTok for a week after a viewer mistook his character, President Bonjo, for a real African warlord and reported him to the platform. That is Western propaganda. I don't understand why they have called me a character. It is Western propaganda. However, it is shocking that a viewer who was watching me live on here reported me because they thought I was an African warlord. And even if I was an African warlord, are we saying that African presidents are not allowed on TikTok? If you can have Zelensky on TikTok, why can't you have me, President Obonjo, on TikTok? Are we saying that African presidents are not allowed? The article goes to say that I am a self-appointed leader of Laughter Republic and that my country is fictional and my presidency is fictional. That is fake news. Absolutely dogs bollock fake news. There's a wider issue here. Are we saying that African presidents are not allowed on TikTok? Are we saying, are we now witnessing censorship on one of the largest social media platforms in the world? What happened to freedom of speech? Let me repeat that. Are we saying, are we witnessing censorship on one of the largest social media platforms? What happened to freedom of speech? The claim that I am a character, comedian, that is false. The claim that I am self-appointed, that is false. The claim that I am an African warlord, that is false. To the person who reported me, you have got this absolutely wrong. I urge you to go back to TikTok and get them to unban me. Thank you.